Dave, and uh, all the way from Indiana, Aaron, it's Josh from the protest. From the protest. Oh, and the live studio Ooh, audience live for you, Josh. Oh, so, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> you know, so we just have to cut it off sometimes. All right. Next show. Yeah. You know, well, you know, <laughs> we have a hard time fitting the audience in my tiny little home here, but, you know, there they you are. Know, oh, free. I mean, they're very good people to do that for you. Yeah. F- you know, uh, free tickets. Hey, free is free, <laughs> right? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. So the protest, you guys got big things going on lately, man. You just like, uh, you were like the the fuse on a firecracker. Yeah. You just this burn and then went uh, with a uh, paper tiger. That's the new album, right? Yes. Paper tiger with paper tiger. Just went boom. Is, does it feel the same way for you guys or do you just, is it another day at work for you? Well, you know, man, um, it's very, it's very humbling that, that you would say that, you know, um, I think for us, um, it is, Death I guess, I guess it's a subtle Sorry. thing. I mean, we've been, you know, we've been, uh, you know, we're a new band to a lot of people, but, you know, we've been at it since 2009, you know, we've been touring since 2012, you know, so um, I think for us, you know, it's just been a very slow grind. Um, so I never really think of us as like blowing up, um, even though that's very kind. And I, I think some people might think that I, I think for us, we're just very blessed to have any success at all. Um, you know, we're humbled to do it for the Lord. And uh, that's just kind of, that's just kind of where we're at, man. I mean, we're very humbled um, by, you know, um, that we've been kind of uh, accepted into this rock world. And, uh, you know, um, it's been cool. Well, I, uh, I, when I first saw you, I first saw you in a little church in Fairfield, California. It was Fairfield, correct? Uh, uh, Yes. All right. And you were doing the City Rock Fest tour with uh, Seventh Day Slumber and Disciple and Wolves at the Gate, I believe, were there. Yeah, Spoken. Mm -hmm. Spoken. Um, And here's the protest. And I'd never heard of you before. Never heard of you before. And I I think you played like second or third that night. I think they opened. Did you open? We were first. Oh, wow. Open. And, And you turn to me and go, why aren't they closing? Yeah. Why? I seriously why? said that. Yeah. Why aren't they closing? And I go, I, I don't know. Cause they're really good. Yeah. You know, I, I've only said that about two acts, uh, which is uh, it, many years ago, 2007, eight, something like that. Uh, my wife took me to see new kids on the block. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm not a fan, but they put on a good show sure. and uh, opening up was this, this woman, she had no band. She had three backup dancers. She's singing the tracks. And uh, I kept saying to my wife, who, who is this woman? And she's like, I have no idea. I'm like, you listen to all this pop stuff. You got to know who this is. She goes, no clue who this is. And I said, well, I promise you, she's going to be huge, huge, huge. And uh, it was Lady Gaga. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, uh, you know, boom, you've been anointed. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be the next big thing, <laughs> but it, well, it's no, it's no surprise to us that you're getting these shows. You know, you're going to be turned with from ashes to new, uh, in upcoming and which we're it, seeing you know, tomorrow. It was Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. We're seeing ashes to new on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they actually, um, is that on the POD run? No. Um, there's no. a festival going on here today. Oh, well, I, may, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, they uh, have some COVID issues right now, and I don't oh, think no. they'll be at that festival. Oh, oh wow. Well, okay. that sucks. So, well, yeah. you know, uh, positive vibes to those guys. Absolutely. And- um, but, yeah, man, I mean, we're uh, – thank you so much for the kind words, the humbling words, you know. Um, we uh, – live is kind of where we thrive, you know. I mean, like, we love um, being in the studio. We love writing music that makes an impact, but – you know, live. I mean, I mean, that's where we feel our most us, you know, um, and uh, we've been very blessed over the years to have some great teachers um, on on and off the stage. And one of those is definitely um, a disciple. I mean, they've been good mentors for us since we were I mean, since I was very young. <laughs> so, uh, you know, all the energy and all the passion we give is because we grew up watching these bands who love the Lord that had all this energy and passion and gave everything they got 
every night, no matter if there was a thousand people or three, you know? Right. You know, the night that we saw you, I'm going to say there was about 75 people in the place. Yeah. Right. And it was just a tiny little church. Uh -huh. And um, every one of those bands, including you, brought it that night. It was like you guys, it didn't matter that you were playing to 75 people. You were playing to an arena that night. Absolutely. And that's kind of what we try to uh, try to do. You know, I used to get very um, bummed out when there was a bad turnout. You know, I got like sick to my stomach about it. But, you know, as I've grown and as I've kind of realized how things are, um, you know, the people that come, even if there's just some people, you know, they came to see you and they came for a reason, you know, and I would hate to go out there and not honor that, you know, I mean, even if there's, you know, I mean, we, you know, we played a festival um, a couple weeks ago, tons of people, but just the week before that we played a show and there's probably 25 people there, man, but those 25 people came to see us and because you know maybe they want to change or maybe they need to hear something uplifting so that's kind of what we try to keep in mind right you know the when when we started this whole uh rock salt musecast thing and we were trying to get it off the ground i was at the same time he's kind of saying to myself what am i doing this for there's nobody listening what am i doing this for but then right. aaron would come to me with the analytics and go hey we picked up a listener in singapore Right. And I go, wow, that is so cool. So maybe it's not for the masses. It's for the one. Absolutely, man. I, I love that you say that because that is so true. And to be honest with you guys, like I'm just trying to be very transparent these days. You know, as a kid, I mean, I mentioned I was a huge Kiss fan. I, I still am. Um, but, you know, a, as a kid, I wanted to be a rock star. I didn't care about Jesus. I wanted to be a rock star. So letting that thought go. Um, has been hard, you know, because you're totally right. Um, God may not ever have the protest play for the masses, you know, it may have, we may have already done our job for him. I, I don't know, but you know, um, we're trying to just think about it as, you know, we aren't rock stars. We're just, you know, I mean, just like you said, man, like if one person can be affected, then it's all worth it. So that's kind of the mindset that we're trying to have, um, you know, right now. And I'm trying to let those thoughts of being a rock star go because that's not what it's about for us. You know, your first release off this uh, latest uh, um, EP album. Project, I had the I had the name of the EP wrong. It's Death Stare. Death Stare. Yeah. The, yeah the, uh, that's right. Was was greater. Yeah. And that song talks about that. I don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm I'm just not caring who's listening well, or whatever. I'm I'm just you know, going to proclaim the name of Jesus and let it be out there. It's kind of, I'm going to stop you short here it, because that was one of the notes I made for myself because I was listening to it this morning and I went, wow. Uh, when I met you guys four or five years ago, you were just average dudes in a band. And uh, I know you don't remember, but I mean, we probably hung out and talked for at least a half an hour. Sure. Um, I got the pictures. It's cool. It's on Facebook. Um, <laughs> but uh, on on your latest EP, uh, Paper Tiger, as you were saying, greater. Um, you got that line in there that says, uh, "Don't do it for the money." Right? That's the greater. Correct. Yes. I'm on the right yeah. one. Yep. Don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the fame. And when I heard that, it just kind of lined up with what that 30 minutes I knew of you. I met you. It. it it was like, I never got the feeling that you were doing it for the money or the fame. You were doing it for the love of it. Well, thank you very much. And yeah, I mean, um, truth be told in our, in our, in our industry, there's not much of that anyway. So it kind of works out. <laughs> right. Um, but, but, um, you know, and we wrote that song during COVID because I mean, I mean, just like you guys said, you know, not having, not playing shows, not doing what we do. Um, it was tough. We, uh, I mean, it's not only a big part of our career, but just for our hearts and minds, you know, when you're called to do something and you can't do it for a while, it, it's, it was tough. So we, we wrote that song um, because we had to sit back and think about why do we do this? Like, really, what is the point behind all of this? And that song just kind of came out and we just pray that it encourages 
other bands, other people doing ministry, doing, you know, and, and, and awesome podcasts, doing anything, you know, um, that's, uh, yeah. Cool. So have you, now you guys were all doing your day jobs back when I met you, you still doing your day jobs? Cause yep. you guys are blowing <laughs> up. I mean, I, I'll put it a different way. I'm on i I'm on these different Facebook groups uh yep. aftershock being one of them which is the festival we're going to see this weekend mm -hmm. which is not a christian festival right um along with uh, some christian groups and uh, i i watch the comments and everybody's like oh yeah the protest i know them love those guys and i for the longest time was going around going you got to check out this band called the protest <laughs> <laughs> you know and sure. little do i know that you guys are just it's like it's just really growing for you guys are you still uh, working all the day jobs yes so um cool thing is i i think you're right you know my, i mean by the grace of god i think that um you know the growth in the last four or five years have has been you know more than we could have ever dreamed you know it, it, it doesn't seem that way when you're in it you know what i mean because you're just kind of grinding away every day and um, just thinking of the next thing that you can do, the next song, the next time you're going to be in the studio, the shows, all this stuff. Um, so the growth has been paramount, but yeah, I mean, we're still working part-time jobs. Um, you know, praise the Lord. They're all very, very flexible, um, with touring, you know? So, I mean, that's why that's we've awesome. been able to tour so much over the last, um, couple years, just because they're very flexible. So that has been a huge blessing. Um, you know, cause when we're not on the road, um, you know, we need to, you know, we need to make ends meet as well. So that's kind of, you know, where we're at, but right. Uh, yeah. I, I get it. I, I was asking Aaron for your tour dates. Cause I saw you got this uh, tour coming up with from ashes to new, uh, that that's still going on. I'm assuming it's still planned, right? As of now. Yeah. Okay. We, I didn't see till yesterday that they tested positive for COVID. So, you know, um, we're praying for them. I hate that for those guys. Um, yeah, that's I, I had COVID. It's not fun, but, um, but yeah, as of now, things are all, uh, full, full force ahead. So. All right. Well, cool. Uh, you got, um, on this bill, you got the protest, of course, Andrew W. Boss. I haven't heard of Andrew W. Boss, uh, and the funeral portrait. Have you, yeah. have you played with these guys before? Never with Andrew, but, um, funny thing about the funeral portrait. Uh, so, I'm talking like back in 2012, 13. Um, those, so those guys are from Georgia. We would tour a lot and we would go down there and we played with those guys in some of the tiniest, tiniest venues. Um, and those guys have really blown up. Uh, they signed to um, Indie Vision, which is a huge secular um, a record company. They have awesome management and they're just really sweet guys and, and awesome bands. So it'll be really cool to see them again for sure. Awesome. You know, speaking of Georgia, you played with um, Faithhead down there. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. those, those are good guys. I yeah, like Faithhead. We, we interviewed Faithhead, <laughs> and they told us you guys had a discussion, and I think it was Bayless was on the third, and they said we we decided that they would go last. And uh, after you and uh, Bayless re, uh, performed, they were like, "That's a mistake." <laughs> you know, that was a mistake. Well, you know. It was they very like, kind of them because it was a weeknight and um, it was a it was a hometown show for them. And and they said, you know, um, hey, you know, like we'll go last. So there's a ton of people here for you guys. And that's super kind of them. Like, you know, we it's whatever for us. Um, but all that being said, um, that's sweet of those guys to say that. But they're a great band, too. They're awesome live and they're really, really nice, funny dudes. So, um yeah. yeah they're they're yeah. awesome it's good to see those guys you you need to go get uh or go check out our interview with faith head you'll love it yeah, I it, bet. <laughs> it was great they are funny guys um probably my best show with faith head All i right. love those guys i um, really do they, they seem like they'd be great to hang out with after a show yeah so. i've been doing radio since i was 17 years old and um it, honestly those guys were probably my best show well I'll, I'll tell you, I, I think I think I know what you mean. And I, I said this to the guys, I think um, and I'm sure they would say this, too. They seem like um, a group of 
best buds that have been best buds for a long time, you know, a very long time. And they pretty much just uh, bust each other's chops all day long. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Just, just constantly, constantly get under each other's skin on purpose. And it's, it cracks me up, man. They, yeah. I, I cannot wait to get out to that neck of the woods so I can meet some of these bands because uh, the Midwest and the South is blowing up with Christian bands. I say it every week, just yeah. blowing up with Christian yeah. and, you bands. Know, I always feel so bad for um, the West Coast because, you know, for, you know, a, a, a lot of music comes out to the West Coast, but a lot of touring Christian rock bands um, don't make it out there as much, you know, right. just because you have to be very, very intentional to go out to, you know, Cali or Oregon or Washington to play, you know, cause it's across the country. So it's got to really make sense in the routing and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're dying to get back out there. We think it's beautiful. You know, we love it out there. I think the closest we'll be any, anytime soon is probably Idaho so okay well it's a nice place to visit but you wouldn't want to live here <laughs> uh, <laughs> well we uh a death stare we actually um recorded in la so we were there for weeks oh um, what uh, what studio so there's a fella um he just moved to nashville but his name's mitchell marlowe and he's done stuff for um uh, like papa roach and he's done stuff for righteous vendetta and stuff for um, New Year's Day, um, a, a lot of really good secular hard rock bands. And we got, you know, we got hooked up with him um, and it was, it was awesome. You know, we still wrote a lot of the music with the guys we usually write with um, down in Nashville. Some were just us totally. Some we wrote with um, the Disciple guys, uh, but yeah, Mitch did the album with us and it was a absolute blast. So you're, you're going on this tour with From Ashes to New and uh, October 13th, which is right around the corner, mm -hmm. uh, Billings, Montana at the pub station. And there's a reason that I'm, I'm talking about these three particular dates. Billings, Montana. I spent some time in Billings, Montana. It's not a bad place. It's actually no. kind of a cool place. We were place. just there like a month and a half ago, two months ago. Yeah, and but uh, when I moved there, I said... To someone i was like hey so where do you guys go for like concerts and stuff and, uh seattle <laughs> well that sounds far yeah <laughs> um salt lake city uh a place i consider my second home i've lived there for a year and a half or so wow it's a beautiful city i love salt lake yeah. city love it and would go back in a heartbeat i don't know where the complex is uh but salt lake city uh, they got a great rock scene out there too. I think the last time we were in Salt Lake City, man, we were probably it had to been 2014, something like that. So it's it, it's been a while, but I remember thinking then because we used to stay at Walmart parking lots. Like that, I mean, that's what we did, and and we still do sometimes if we need to catch some shut eye. But I remember waking up at that particular Walmart near Salt Lake City, and I woke up to mountains. You know what yeah. I mean? Which is pretty fantastic. And it, it just seemed like a nice, clean town. Yeah, you know, it, it, it very much is. Um, I still got friends there, but uh, and they they say it's kind of declined a little. But I think that they're, you know, a little jaded about it because they live there. Sure. You know, sure. uh, also Colorado Springs, Colorado Sunshine Studios on the 17th. Uh, another place I spent about a year and a half. Colorado okay. Springs. Yeah. And uh, uh, once again, they got a pretty big rock scene out there. Okay. Well, that's yeah. cool. Kilo radio, check out K I L O okay. radio and you're going to find yourself a great rock and roll station. Love um, it, man. Yeah. A station that turned me on to skillet back in the day when I lived there and uh, Volbeat, I became oh, big fans dude. of the, both those bands because of Kilo radio. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man, Volbeat's awesome. And skillet, um, man, they are uh you know, they are the some of the best people I've ever met. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take a break here and we're going to play some music. Oh, Greater is coming on. Greater. All right. Cool. From uh, the protest. And we'll yep. jump back in with Josh here in just a minute. All right. Cool. Yeah. We do a podcast.